put one. Oh, get back on the branch. Get back on the branch, the Poot. Okay, fine, on the ground. Oh shit, hi there. Poot too. Wow. Okay, you can start now. Hmm? No intro again. Hmm. Oh, okay, fine, intro. <laughs> so Slatmeth and... Ah, uh, crap, it's a Sipadubada. With more fanfiction reading. Ah! They talked late into the night. Their shared memories were flu. I mean, few. But both Irvin and Aaron's remembered very well. Irvin used to visit once a year to Aaron. But due to civil wars, had been forced to give up their Shiganshina travel in the last three years. So now see Aaron with 18 years of age, he was impressed. Always had done too good to be a child. But now her youthful beauty had dazzled simply. What? What? Once finished dinner, Aaron joined and tried to vacate the table, but immediately Irwin stopped him. What are you doing? That belongs to Surfdom. I do not at all costs always have at home. Irvin arm restrained him when he saw his attempt to disobey. Despite having been a weak pressed, Aaron felt it. As my future consort, these tasks and do not correspond. And what is it then? Aaron replied. Irvin got up and took his right hand to the head of Aaron. All what? in due time errors. I mean answered. Why the fuck did I say errors? I think what? D did he Did he hit Aaron in the head with his own hand? <laughs> he took his right hand to the head of Aaron. <laughs> All in due time <laughs> He saw Armin and commanded. Aaron escort back to their quarters. Armin, who remained standing all evening after Aaron, whoa, bent bowing. Irvin Aaron proceeded to say goodbye. He took his right hand and again kissed the back of it. Sleep well. Her deep blue eyes pierced Aaron. I look forward to tomorrow because to become my husband. Oh, with, God. with nervous Karsom Yandol, Aaron nodded and walked away. Armin escorted him to the bedroom. Along the way, he tried to absorb the silent Aaron atmosphere that surrounded the mansion. Damn silent Aaron. That was <laughs> silent. Better. Why is Armin absorbing it? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. He was too big for Irvin. I thought oh. how long it took to toilet. How many rooms would it have? I will come to wake him at seven, Jaeger-sama, articulated Armin once reached the bedroom. Listen, said Aaron, Armin watching. I do not want you to tell me so. I find it absurd. But I cannot call it any other way. Of course you can. Tell me. Aaron. What? Armin snapped. I cannot. If I'm going to own this house, so as Irvin saw, you have to listen to me. How old are you? Eighteen. We are the same age. Then it is necessary for Malty. You'll punish me if I speak inappropriately. Aaron thought for a moment. Then when we were alone, Aaron called me. Did you think? What? Armin somewhat hesitantly nodded. I am just as confused as you, Armin. Trust me. After this strange conversation, Armin prepared the bath, Aaron. <laughs> appreciated the warm water of the large bathtub at his disposal. It was nice compared to the baths had to be at home with cold water, although there were times when his mother was trying to warm her water. Oh, God! <laughs> Wait, so was she pregnant again? I, I can only Aaron said when Armin sought help undress. You can go. What? He can only Aaron? When Armin sought help undress. Hmm. I'll wait outside. When the bathroom door was closed, Aaron snorted upset. It definitely takes some getting used to her drug? life. <laughs> She's snorting upset. But perhaps putting some of you make it. Some of me? Yes. Oh, God. He awoke at dawn, was used. Oh, God. <laughs> he was raped in his sleep. Well, he did say tomorrow he make, becomes the bride. I guess it happened overnight. <laughs> I could hear the chirping of the birds from the window of his bedroom. The red curtain and clothes prevented the passage of light, so Aaron got up and fell back hard. <laughs> I think that proves it. The sun's rays emerging from the mountains in the distance came to his eyes that observed with wonder the new day began. So Within hours would sun? become consort of Armin Smith. What? The, you said the light was coming from the mountains. So yes. does that mean the mountains are irradiating light? Sure. I well, the sun's rays emerged from the mountains, and they came to his eyes. So yes, they're irradiated. Yeah, okay, sure. Aaron shuddered at the memory. But determined not to think about it, changed clothes and ventured out of his room. He walked quietly down the corridors into the first level. Wait, wait, wait. He shuddered at the memory? Oh god, it did happen during the night! <laughs> Instinctively walked straight down an oblong corridor, assuming that this could be the end of the service area. He was lucky, because it gave the kitchen directly after a corner bent across the dining room. He entered the kitchen, toes crossed, and went to the backyard of the mansion. He liked the idea of touring the land he owned Irvin and became familiar with them. He owned Irving? Owned Irvin and become familiar with them. And walking through the gardens and away from the mansion, reached the stables. He could smell the field that made him think of home. 
He entered the barn of considerable size and found more than 50 copies grazing horses locked in their pens. What? Copies? Wait, 50 copies are grazing horses. Apparently. Um... Aaron, fascinated, began touring each cor- cor- coralizaz for close to horses. They did not seem interested in this in his enthusiastic presence. A foal lying locked up in one of the pens Aaron struck. You bastard. Why'd you strike a foal? God. Curious, ap- or no, he struck the pen. Okay. Curi- I guess that makes more sense, actually. Curious approached him and tried to touch it, but their actions seemed to bother the mother, mother of breeding because whinnied and was aggressive with Aaron, who felt embarrassed. And so intent, he did not realize that someone was already in place. Hey, brat, what are you supposed to do? Aaron became surprised to hear that call. He saw the back of the barn to a short man protected by a green cloak that covered his face. A strange Aaron was made the way in which the man spoke. I mean, spoke. Strange Aaron? Was made in the way in which the man spoke. He was disrespectful. Did he not know the future talking to the landowner? He did not know the future talking to the landowner. Mm -hmm. Damn, so true. She tried to answer him, but kept silent to approach him and recognize him as a soldier's uniform he wore, but caught his eye logo Wings of Freedom corresponding to the Legion of Recognition. His eyes logo? Yes. The more risky in the military, and to which also belonged Irvin. I asked you a question, Brad. Aaron was speechless. To see close to the mysterious man was trapped in his icy glare that inevitably fired a pellet in his heart rhythm. Pellet. So he got shot by the glare of... Spoiler alert, Levi? Okay, that's Spoiler. it for chapter one. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Levi. I don't know, it, it doesn't say his name, even though everybody should probably tell who it is, because brat. And, you know, at the beginning, it said, Revi x Aaron. So, Revi. That's anyway, that's it for chapter one. And probably the rest of that. Yeah. Because we're not going to do a whole bunch of chapters. Okay, I'm what? looking at the chapter names. We, I'm gonna, I, we should like skip ahead because I see one of these is abduction, and others kidnapping, and then playing with fire. We can, you can read those in your own time. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna play out the rest of this 90 seconds or 98 now. Not the 90. In the meantime, if you guys find random fan fictions that sound funny when translated, send us links. And or not even ones that are translated, just English. I, yeah, I guess you can do English ones too, even if they're not necessarily, like, funny. If you want to hear the voice of me reading fan fictions for some reason, we can do that too. Because why not? Because we found some uh, messed up ones that were in plain English. Yeah. Or not plain English. Not plain English, but they weren't translated. They were just... Poorly, poorly written, probably troll worthy. Do you remember that uh, one that kept commenting in like their own fan fiction and like in non obvious commenting ways? And they were like using smiley faces and stuff? Something like that. If they were like, this person was using smiley faces and all that kind of crap and squeeing in their own fan fiction. <laughs> I yeah, didn't actually say they were squeeing, but you could basically hear the squeeze. Aw. Oh. You don't remember that at all? I think I do. Too bad we can't find some of the ones that we went through before. Yeah. I thought I could find one of them, ha ha ha. Oh god. <laughs> I'm looking at chapter 9 because why not? Apparently Reiner appears. Oh. And Berthold. Oh. Ber- Berthold, Berthold, the, 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 whatever the fuck his name's pronounced as. I was going to say Berthold. Bertilda. Ah, yeah, sure, Bertilda, why not? I killed the Spreefer right before the end. Oh. Um, anyway, that has been part four and chapter one of a fan fiction. Yay! I'm it's probably going to stick with just chapter one for these, unless they're really short. Indeed, like, a couple sentences. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, send... Leave a comment or send a PM about what fanfictions that you found that would be funny for him to read. And just like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Anything else? I sharded. I don't think they need <laughs> to know that. Um. Bye. Booze. <laughs>